and welcome to this episode of Traveling the Trail videocast from the Oregon California Trails Association. These videocasts are designed to provide information and resources for anyone interested in traveling or learning more about America's Western immigrant trails. I'm Richard Hunt. I'm a volunteer with the Octa Video Production Team. And this episode features a state with gorgeous and fascinating trail sites. Today, we're joined by Jerry Eichhorst. He's a longtime Octa member, and he is the chapter president of Idaho Octa. So welcome, Jerry. Thank you, Richard. I'm happy to be here and happy to share some insights to the Oregon and California trail sites in Idaho. So tell me about the general overview of the route as it crosses Idaho. So the route enters Idaho in the southeast corner, east of Montpelier. It goes over Big Hill to the Bear River Valley, goes north up to Soda Springs, then crosses over Mount Putnam to the Snake River. It then follows the south side of the Snake River past American Falls, and at Raft River, the California Trail branches off and heads for City of Rocks and the Humboldt River, heading to the southwest in California. The Oregon Trail continued along the south side of the Snake River where it crossed the river at Three Island Crossing near Glens Ferry, and then continued along the foothills to the northwest to the Boise River, and followed the Boise River down to Fort Boise at the junction with the Boise River and Snake River, crossed the Snake River again, then headed northwest over the Blue Mountains and on into Oregon. So we have a lot of trail routes in Idaho. We have about one quarter of the remaining ruts or of the trail itself in Idaho. Uh, there's just a tremendous number of Oregon and California remnants that remain. We also have a lot of alternative routes, the North Alternate, the South Alternate, the Jeffries Goodell Cutoff, uh, the Lander Road, we've got freight roads, we've got the Hudsmith Cutoff. Octa has been around over 40 years. Uh, how did you get involved in the trail and how did you get involved in Octa? About 25 years ago, I attended an Idaho chapter meeting in Pocatello. And after lunch, we had a tour of the trail sites on the Fort Hall Reservation. I really enjoyed it. I've always loved history. And before you know it, I had joined and was active in the chapter. And chapter president for 12 years. And one of the things that I really like to do is to lead tours, get people out on the trail and show them the sites of these various routes across Idaho. As you're preparing to lead people on tours, what, what do you do to get ready? How do you how do you get your material? Well, I'm a diary researcher, and I have over 3,000 accounts of people who traveled in Idaho. I compile those by location, so I get a really good picture of what that particular location looked like in the immigrant times. If you compile hundreds of them by location, you get the best descriptions from all the various authors, and I then put those together and compile them so that I can then give people a perspective of that location. Um, I love the first person accounts and it's just really fun to be able to read what somebody wrote 170 years ago and then go out in the field and see what they were talking about. So what else do you do in, in Idaho uh, from the chapter level and how are you guys involved in the communities in, in Idaho? Well, I teach classes on the Oregon Trail for the Boise Schools Community Education Program, which is adult learning program for the local schools here in Boise. Uh, let's talk about visiting the trail. What what do you like to see? What, what what would you recommend? What's the things to not miss when you're traveling in Idaho? Oh, as I said, there's so many different routes and there's so many interesting sites that putting together a short list is really hard to do. But for this purpose, my short list is going to be the Soda Springs area, the Fort Hall replica, Three Island Crossing, and the City of Rocks on the California Trail. The Soda Springs area, I do tours over there. It's a two-day tour. There's so many things to see in that area. And of course, you've got Sheep Rock where the Bear River turns south and heads towards Salt Lake. The Fort Hall replica is in South Pocatello, it's a beautiful display of a lot of historic artifacts. Um, the people there are really good. It's uh, uh, next to the Bannock County Historical Museum. So it's a nice place to visit. Three Island Crossing is where the trail crossed the Snake River. And it was a ford. It was the only place they could get across the river 
for hundreds of miles. And uh, finally, City of Rocks is just a fascinating place. It's on the California Trail. It was a camping area. They have some huge granite formations of rocks. And whenever immigrants came in close proximity to these big rock formations, they wrote their names in axle grease. So <laughs> these rocks are covered in axle grease. There's hundreds and thousands of names on many, many different rocks there. And they're big rocks. And it's just really interesting to see all these names on these rocks. So those are some of the must-sees, uh, but there's got to be one that's the hidden gem, your favorite kind of thing of this is something that it's not on the map. You got to go see it. Yeah, something close to my heart, too. In cooperation with the BLM, I developed the Main Oregon Trail Backcountry Byway about 12 years ago. And it goes between Glens Ferry and Bonneville Point, southeast of Boise, following the Oregon Trail as closely as you can on county roads. So a lot of it is gravel roads, but they're good gravel roads. You can travel it in a family vehicle. You don't have to have four wheel drive or anything. But you follow the Oregon Trail for 100 miles. You'll see trail remnants, the Snake River crossing from up above on the south side. Um, the Hot Springs site, there's the resort stage station at Canyon Creek, immigrant inscriptions along the route, and you get the feeling of what it would have been like to be on the Oregon Trail. Yeah, after you told me about that a couple of years ago, we did, my wife and I took that trip, and I highly recommend it. It, it was excellent. And Well, the booklet is going to give you turn-by-turn uh, -turn directions on how to drive the the main Oregon Trail backcountry byway, or you can get it off of the Idaho chapter website. We have a link to that. It's on the BLM website as well. Also, if you're interested in in the Boise area, I lead a tour of the byway every spring in mid-April, and that's always a lot of fun. So um, if people want to get more involved and, and become, um, you know, deeper than just a casual trip, what, uh, how do they do that? I really think there's two different levels of people interested in the Oregon Trail. You've got casual observers who want to go out and see it, learn a little bit about it, but don't want to really do a deep dive into it. For that type of person, I suggest that they go to the National Park Service website and they get the auto tour interpretive guide that the National Park Service has put together for Idaho. It's called Along the Snake River Plain Through Idaho, and it's a great guidebook. It will follow the trail across the state on state highways. It talks about the history of the various areas and locations. It talks about the various trail centers and, and uh, visitor places that you should stop and see. If you really want to learn more and get involved in the Oregon Trail, the real important thing to do is to join OCTA and then join the Idaho chapter and come out on the outings with me. You know, we do a lot of work out in the field. We have activities every month. Um, if you join Octa, you get the Overland Journal. Uh, there's a lot of great material in the Overland Journal. I've been published 10 times um, within the Overland Journal and all these different things that I've compiled. Okay, well, Jerry, thanks so much for uh, sharing uh, some really great information and, and uh, We'll link to a lot of this information in the description so you can track it down yourself. But uh, there you have it. Uh, so get out and discover your trail with the Oregon California Trails Association across Idaho. Mm -hmm.